Welcome back to another Halloween video here. A few nights ago I showed how to unlock the pumpkin mask by going around and collecting 10 jack-o'-lanterns. I showed the ones over on the eastern side of the city that are all nice and close together. And it only took me uh, 7 or 8 minutes to go around and collect all 10 of those. I'd already unlocked the pumpkin mask. If you haven't and you follow this video, you will now have unlocked the pumpkin mask. What I decided to do, this is uh, now 24 hours since I did this video because I parts of it my microphone was muted. So part of this video is going to have post-recording voiceover, which you're hearing right now. Some of it is going to have in-game voiceover where my microphone wasn't muted. Uh, this is a real pain in the neck of an edit, this video. This is why it's taken so long to get this uploaded. I was hoping to have this uploaded last night. However, at the time I finished, realised that some of the footage my microphone was muted in and some of it it wasn't. Uh, like this one here, for example, now you can see where I had got a trick of being turned into a dog. And I was talking right now, but you can't hear my voice in the original video because my microphone was muted. Anyway, we're going to jump ahead and you can see here I got turned into a pigeon as well. You can go around and by pressing R2 if you're on PlayStation, uh, whatever the, um, alter uh, the um, equivalent button is on Xbox, and you can, uh, uh, let's just say, drop your droppings on people. Yeah. I tried, to, I tried to land on a few NPCs, couldn't get to it, I don't know if it worked or not, you can't actually see whether it, where it lands, unfortunately. Um, you can see here I also got turned into a cat, and I uh, wasn't watching where I was going, ran across the road and got absolutely skittled. Good thing cats have nine lives though, isn't it, because I survived it, no worries. I also came across my clone doppelganger who spawned in after I collected one of the uh, jack-o'-lanterns down at Vespucci Beach. Now this is the weird thing because apparently they're not supposed to spawn if you have a weaponized vehicle. But I'm using my Presser Mark II to get around to all these um, all these jack o' lanterns, and he spawned in while I was using my Presser. And you can see here I also got a rabbit. Pretty useless this one. Not much I can say about this. I'm not going to show any more footage of these animals, but I also got turned into a hen, and I got skittled by a car again. I got turned into a boar twice. And I did get turned into a, another bird as well, so that's, I'm just going to leave it at that. That's, that's, yeah, the animals, they're a bit of fun, but um, a waste of time at the same time. Now, something I, I didn't realise either why this was happening, because I, I was just trying to get killed so I can um, get back onto the, the job of getting the jack o' lanterns. If you press and hold right on your D-pad, you will finish your hallucination as one of the one of the animals and you will spawn again at the nearest medical facility to where you were turned into the animal in the first place. So I just thought I'd give a quick update on where I'm at. We're going over 200 of these jack-o'-lanterns. I'm an hour and 20 minutes into this and I have collected a hundred. This one here is going to be 101. Of course I'm using gtaweb.eu which I have shared in previous videos in the description will be in the description of this one as well that was number 101 so you can simply just mark them off and that way uh, the unhighlighted ones you know are the ones you've collected so if you get to like 195 and you're like oh which five do I have left to go that's the ones that are highlighted on the map so yeah just a quick update an hour and 20 minutes in I'm halfway there and why am I not getting back on the oppressor come on mate there we go, right -o. so I'm going to continue on with this, I'm not going to bore you with me collecting all 200, I will just skip ahead to the end once I'm there, I'm halfway there now, so not long to go, and I'll talk to you again very, very shortly. So in case you couldn't tell by the change in the sound of my voice, that last clip I showed was uh, one of the only parts I did not have my microphone muted. Right now my microphone was muted again, and this was number 191 that I had collected, so... This was to be 10 to go, and I was going to show the rest of this. They're all up around Polito Bay, and like I said, that was 191. I was just going to show the last uh, 10 as I was doing them. But, silly old me, as I so often do when I'm doing some of these recordings, is I forgot that my microphone was muted. Now, the problem there was that in a lot of videos, if I, if I do my microphone's muted, I can just go back and re-record it. These jack-o'-lanterns, yeah, I'm not doing that because um, that would have meant I would have had to come and do it again. At the time I'm record, at the time I'm doing this voiceover right now, that would have been tonight. As you're probably watching this video, I would have been actually re-recording it. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to add the um, the, the post uh, recording voiceover to it. 
So there was, uh, was it 192 here? And you might know this one, if you did the ghost expose last year, a ghost spawn right there where I was just pointing, which is what I said in my original recording, but with the microphone muted, you're not going to hear that, are you? You're hearing this voice over now instead. So I got another, I got another bloody trick there. I'm not joking either. While I wasn't recording getting these, I got more treats than I did tricks. Yet, these last 10, I got a lot of tricks. So here we go. This is now going to be 193, I believe, of where we're at. Up in Polito Bay, and the dog there guarding it. Good boy. Good boy. I'm just, don't mind me, just collecting that jack-o'-lantern. And we head over here. The next one's going to be very close. Uh, it is just going to be at the... Um, right now, as you're watching this, this is, I was looking at the map on my phone as I was... Um, doing the voiceover saying I'm looking at the looking at the map on my phone the next one's located right here we all know this bank we rob it with Trevor Michael and Franklin in story mode and there we go we got turned into a bore and I'm not going to bore you with this footage no pun intended and you can see there I just spawned outside the nearest uh, medical facility calling my oppressor and back on we go and there it is, just outside this house. That my mate, mate, just picking up a jack-o'-lantern. Nothing to see here. And a trick. We got stoned. That happened quite a few times, I can tell you. Uh, that's. I seen someone in the comments of my original video of, of me getting the the ten, saying that getting stoned should be a reward, not a um, not a trick. And I wasn't stoned at all, actually. Never mind. What was that then? I missed, must have misread it. No, it was stoned. I was stoned. Never mind. Uh, on we go to the next one, which is located just down the street here. So this one just here, and I can't remember where we're at. I think this was what I thought was 198. Uh, but you're going to see in a, in a second, it wasn't. It was actually 197. But again, I, at the time I thought it was 198. Next we're going to head over to... We're going to show it on the map just here. And what I thought was going to be 199. Let's go head over there. And this one... I couldn't find this one straight away. Because I was on the wrong side of the building. So there it is. No, there it is right there. It's actually at the back of the building. I thought it was going to spawn on the steps, as a lot of them did. But right in front of the sign here. What I thought was 199 and another trick. Up we get, back onto the oppressor. Um, I brought up the map actually, and thought that down here is where we're going to find number 200. But you're going to see in a second that I was actually wrong. And there it is, what I thought was number 200. And I really wish I hadn't had my microphone muted so you could have heard my reaction to this. Because down in the bottom corner you can see there, no notification through for the T. And I was in absolute shock at this point. Like, have I just wasted nearly three hours of my time trying to collect all of these? I ended up um, pausing the recording in a second while I frantically looked at my phone, looked at all the ones I went over. Um, I clearly remembered getting all the ones south of the map, so I thought there had to have been one here in Polito Bay that I missed. That, that's the only explanation I could think of. So what I did here was I paused the recording and I had a quick look on the phone, and I came back. After I flew over here, I spotted this pumpkin here. So what happened was I had grabbed the one from the bank, got turned into the bore, and then I spawned on the other side of the highway that goes through Polito Bay, and I had actually ticked this one off after I got turned into the bore. Before I collected the one that turned me into a bore, I ticked off the one outside the Polito Bank, then got turned into the bore, then um, yeah, I held down right on my, on my D-pad to um, end the hallucination. As I've done that and spawned back in, I've actually ticked this particular location off, forgetting that, I, that this one wasn't the one that, that turned me into the bore. So that was very, very lucky. I thought I'd wasted three hours of my time, but you can see that I did end up receiving that tea. And let's go jump into one of my properties now and have a look. Okay, so I've jumped into my auto shop here. Let's have a look. Come into tops. Now, where's this going to be under? 
Probably t-shirts. Festive? Nope. Special tops. Trick or treat. There it is. Um, okay, so I need to... Let's get rid of that first. And where is my pumpkin mask? There we go. Let's just change this a bit. Let's uh, go with no jacket. Right, out now where were we? Down to special tees, trick or treat, and there it is. The pumpkin tea. I'm going to save this one as a uh, saved outfit. I'm just, I don't. I don't like the pants with that though. What have we got? Some black jeans. Don't like the shoes with that either. Let's have a. Let's see what we can go. That'll do, and we'll save that as an outfit. There we go, let's come out of the uh, office here, out into the... There we go. The pumpkin tea, pumpkin mask, collecting 10 pumpkins will get... Oh, 10 jack-o'-lanterns will get you the pumpkin mask. Collecting uh, all 200 like I just did will get you the pumpkin tea. And I did have a timer running, I just... I believe it, what happened? I'm, 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 I've got the, the gta.web.eu open on my phone. And I was ticking them off on my phone as I went. Didn't realise how low the battery was. My phone went dead. I had the timer running on my phone as well, so I knew exactly how long it was taking me. I had to run out, because I'm, I'm in the opposite room to where my um, charger is. I had to run to the other room, grab my charger, bring it back in. Plug it in, hope that the phone had saved my progress, which it had, luckily. But the, I didn't realise the timer was still running, so I can tell you exactly how long that took me. It was 2 hours and 52 minutes to go around and collect all of those 200 pumpkins. So not as long as I thought it was going to take, to be honest with you. So if you've got 3 hours spare, you've got, I've got an Oppressor Mark II, and you can be bothered grinding out to get this t-shirt, go ahead and do it. It's the only way to get it. It's an exclusive item. It's uh, If you're a poor player, it's not worth your time for money-wise. But hey, this is a flex that you're going to have over people who haven't put the time in to do this, who are too lazy to do it. So anyway, I'm going to leave it right there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. If you want to see more GTA content, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.